The ideal location of the Baja implant is 5 to 6 centimeters above and behind the external auditory canal. That has been marked and about a 3 centimeter incision is made such that the implant is at the center of the incision. Subcutaneous fat is removed. Exercise caution when removing fat to ensure too many hair follicles are not damaged. This is usually performed on the cautery on the setting of 25 with a needle point cautery. Next, some of the temporalis muscle is removed if that temporalis muscle is in the way, leaving the periosteum intact on the bone. We feel the skin to make sure that it's thin enough and that it's, it will lay down well. This is the pedal. We'll primarily be using the black pedal and this is the console and we start at 2000 RPMs. The drill guide has been placed and drilled down to 3 millimeters. We use a rosin needle to check to see if there is bone at the bottom and if so we'll remove the guide drill and drill down to 4 millimeters. The same sized countersink is used for the drilling. Copious irrigation is used and we make sure that we drill perpendicular to the skull. We check the hole to see if there is dura on the bottom. Next, the abutment holder is loaded onto the drill console. We change the drill setting to the high torque low speed setting. The drill is placed over the abutment and it's grasped. We make sure that we do not touch at any time point the screw part of the abutment. After a few revolutions of the drill, then we will start irrigating so we don't trap water under the abutment. Usually we start at a setting of 35 newtons. And if it's very hard bone, we'll raise that setting. Usually the screw will stop on its own and the drill can be removed. A small rubber band is placed. This will serve as a drain which is removed at the one week post-op appointment. A small amount of skin around the abutment is removed on both sides to make sure that there isn't too much tension on the skin surrounding the abutment. That skin in that zone is also thinned to make sure there isn't too much skin coming up to the abutment and also removing all hair follicles immediately around the abutment. We generally leave the hair follicles and uh, the other areas intact. A chromic suture can be used for closure. This is the wound at the closing point. The healing cap is placed over the abutment. We generally use a dressing using zero form, which is one by eight inches in size and that is fitted around the healing cap under it to create compression around the abutment. Vaseline gauze can be used alternatively. Zero form and rubber band are removed at the one week post-op appointment.